I've been waiting for this shower man since long I don't finish. We are waiting for shower. Hi guys, this is First Alicia's DIY. Do it yourself. Man, hmm. see me bouncing on my bumpy ball, bouncing ball. Today we are 37 weeks and 4 days. What's the latest development? So, so I went for my continental visit today. And what's new? <coughs> I actually went to um, make a request or to plan my labor and delivery with my OB gynae doctor. Come and eat grapes. Mm. Sweet grape. I like, I prefer the seedless ones. This one has seed. So, I was requesting for an epidural because I feel a lot of pain in labor and I don't think I'm ready for any more pains this time around. And in this place, you're on your own. I'm alone, all on my own. No support. Nobody to find you, nobody to rub your waist, nobody to hold. Nothing, nothing, nothing at all, man. I did it. I did it with, without pain relief for all my three children. But this one, I think I sincerely need pain relief in a level. Level analgesia. Yeah. So as a result, I've tried contacting different people, different doctors, anesthetists, OB gynae doctors, in different hospitals. As my own hospital does not offer epidural for labor for labor. But it seems like all the hospitals around does not actually offer labor analgesia in form of epidural. So I've tried, but it's not working out. I was almost getting depressed because I first achieved yeah. I'm not ready for any pain in level this time around. I've had enough pains. So apart from pains there are other personal reasons, health, health-wise, emotional-wise, and physical-wise. Not that I cannot push, I can push. I can still do it, but I don't want to do it. Not this time, not again. I don't want to do it. 
if I can successfully have my baby healthy and sound, myself healthy and sound, without pains, why don't I go for the option? I tried contacting a private hospital here, but the amount, the hotels men, is um, too much. I cannot, I cannot afford it. I cannot afford it at all. So, I'm like, okay. My OB gynae doctor did an ultrasound for me today. Oh no, I still have mild polyhydramnios. Not too much, but baby is grossly okay. I'm happy about that. And the estimated, the estimated fetal weight was 3.7 kg. I was sent for an official scan, obstetric scan. They estimated about 3.5 kg, of which I know the baby is already big because I usually have big babies. My first baby was 3.7 kg. My second baby, my son, was 4.2 kg. <laughs> I had hip dislocation after delivering that boy. Whereas my third baby was 3.64 kg. So, and for that, my son that was 4.2 kg, his estimated fetal weight was 3.09 kilos, you know. I was surprised to give birth to a 4.2 kg. That is one whole kg plus, more than what was estimated. So for this one to have an estimation of 3.5 to 3.7 kg, I'm highly suspicious that the baby is already weighing more, though it's plus or minus anyway, notwithstanding. So, my OB guy suggested elective CS. Since I have so much phobia for going into normal level this time around, so I could have, but I was like, no, 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 no. I don't want any cuts in my tummy. But when I got home, on the second thought, I began to consider the having an elective series. For the delivery of this my boat <laughs> so tomorrow i'm going to go back to the hospital to discuss the elective series with my ob specialist so that i can come in on the stipulated date and have the baby delivered by elective series. Yeah. That's what I'm going for right now. I don't have the mental capacity to carry labor pains this time around. A lot has happened, you know. And I don't want the pains, the previous pains to continue ringing in my head. You know, they said in the Bible that a woman forgets about all the labor pains after delivery. But my own case is different. I don't seem to forget. <laughs> I know they forget you. The pain is real. Or rather, I have high pain threshold. Is it high or low pain threshold? High, high pain threshold. So, that is it. And already, earlier in the day, I had already ordered for this, my bumpy ball. I have one here, but it's already deflecting. So I asked my husband to buy. I 
asked Henry to buy another one that is strong for me that I wanted to to be using for exercise it to help the baby descend properly into the pelvis for normal vaginal delivery but right now I'm just sitting on it rocking it I don't think I'll be needing all those exercises for normal delivery any longer because I am opting for an elective cesarean session. Yes, that's what I'm going for. By God's grace, that's if I did not change my mind before the due day. Baby is due in um, November. My EDG is November 5. But the way I'm feeling, the way it's going, this baby is not going to be in there till November. <laughs> this baby have to come out anytime this week or later next week. <laughs> oh, she's going to be an October baby. <laughs> That's my own shawarma now. I'll be waiting for this shawarma for several hours. Hunger don't finish me and my baby. I'm shower back the moon. This one is bigger. This or that. So I would like you to. I'd like you to comment in the comment section tell me your baby's weight when you had your babies and your mode of delivery which one do you prefer do you prefer cs normal delivery Um, it's not a brother. It's a brother. Hmm? It's not. It's not wrapped like that one. I don't. I don't just don't come here. Yeah. So, baby is already big now. Okay. He that is down, yes, we are no fall. We be very good. Let me eat the shawarma that I'm craving, child. <laughs> and I just I don't want to push again, but no need. Let me eat and draw myself. I can't. So. That's the update for today. So that's the update for today. Thank you very much. I need your prayers for self delivery. Thank you and God bless.